Hello everyone, welcome to Cam Tie Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to surface crochet. This is a fairly easy stitch to make. We're going to use slip stitches and when you're done, it kind of looks like a chain, a uh, link chain all together. You can go in any direction that you want to. You can make a U or heart or whatever it is you want. This is the front of this project and this is the back and what it looks like when you're done and you've weaved in all of your ends. It's pretty basically one and two ends. Um, the starting in and your finishing in and I'm also going to show you how to finish that off so as always I don't like to dawdle so let's get started so I have a quick I already made a pink swatch here I'm going to use the same swatch um, that I used for the other one here I'm just going to flip it to the other end um, these are all single crochets single crochets usually work best because they're much closer together but you can also use like a half double crochet stage stitch excuse me a half double crochet stitch if you want to <laughs> say that 10 times um but it's up to you so i have the same type of yarn that i'm using um for my swatch that i have for my swatch except it's in white um i'm just using that so that you can see the stitch and it's always best if you're going to do this to have a different color um to use for this project here to do this stitch so i have a five millimeter hook it's the same size hook that i used to make this swatch here i'm going to go ahead and make a slip knot you want to make sure that your loop is fairly big you don't want it to be too tight we're going to go ahead and put our hook into whatever position you want to wherever it is that you want to start off i'm just going to go ahead and go into the beginning and insert my hook and go ahead and put your loop around that hook now you do want to draw your string a little bit tighter but not too tight so that it's too so that as you're going your project is going to begin to bunch up if this loop is too tight so you want to try to keep it as loose as possible go ahead and pull that loop through so now we're going to go ahead and insert our loop our hook into the next stitch well the next hole that the single crochet automatically provides for you you're going to go in i'm going to show you how it looks on the back as we go i'm going to loop around and come back through that yarn and then just do a quick slip stitch and again you want to keep that as loose as you possibly can so that you don't bunch up your project as you're making your slip stitches as you go along so we're going to continue on and we're going to move into the next stitch i'm just showing you how big that loop is there it's not too small and it's not too big so that it's draping but it's not too small that it's not tight so go ahead and insert your hook into that next available hole next to immediately next to the next one go ahead and wrap your hook around grab your yarn and pull it through that's nice and loose and go ahead and do a slip stitch so that's how you do that all the way across you want to continue across if you want to you can change direction which i'm going to show you how to do that in a minute but i want to do this as many times as possible so that we can continue so you can get it um just right so go ahead and slip stitch as you can see i was about to yarn over but continue on with that um, you can incorporate that tail if you want to or you can just wait until the end but I'm just going to keep going across and in a moment I'm going to change direction just to show you how that's done now I'm simply just taking my swatch and twisting it around moving it around um, shifting the position a little bit so I can better have a better hold hold of it and then go ahead into the next stitch make sure you have that tail out of the way grab onto that yarn and pull it through and then go ahead and make a slip stitch if you don't know how to do a slip stitch i do have a short tutorial on that and you can um take a look at that give that a try 
but we're going to continue on as you can see i change direction again and again it's easier with the single crochet because there's less space there and the holes are defined there you can see each hole and they're closer together as opposed with a double crochet but you can also use a half double crochet for this as well so i'm changing direction again and it's just a matter of turning your project around in whichever direction you want to go into next i'm taking my hook and this is my first time doing this as well so i'm just trying to do it enough so that you can understand but as you can see my loop is still fairly loose now what i'm going to do is show you how to tie it off so let's say you're at the point where you want to finish it off um make your final uh making your final chains here making our final slip stitches here and just keep watching me as i'm going now we're at the end and let's say you're at the end you don't necessarily have to go all the way to the end of your project you can stop in the middle of your project you want to go ahead and snip that yarn off in the back go ahead and pull it through and then bring your needle your hook back through the back end through that same stitch and go ahead and grab the yarn and just pull it right through and then you can go ahead and go into the back and weave that in with your darning needle and make sure that that's good and tight but not too tight so that it's pulling on your stitches you want to keep these stitches as loose as you possibly can you can use this stitch for a hat or scarf whatever it is that you want to you want to add some letters or add numbers to it you can do that so that's going to end our tutorial i want to thank you for watching make sure as i always say practice 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 makes progress and i will see you in the next tutorial have a great day and happy new year